Hey guys, Will here. So I saw a post on the SimRacers Facebook page the other day asking whether it was possible to use a old smartphone or tablet that you have laying around as a rear vision mirror. I kind of saw it and thought, I don't know whether that's a good idea or a bad idea, whether it'd actually be useful, but I'm damn sure gonna give it a go. And today I did some experimenting and I'm happy to report I was able to get it working. So we've got my lovely wife Jill here driving at the moment to demonstrate how this works for us. Are you finding the mirror useful, Jill? Yeah, it's, you can see them. <laughs> So you can see here, she's just lining up on the grid. She's just doing a uh, formation lap here. And everything's working. So just do some weaving back and forth, Jill. Just weave from side to side. Everything seems to be running in real time here. No lag. Seems to match what we're seeing in the mirror there as well. So today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this for yourself. And uh, I'll go for a drive as well once I've got it all set up and see what my impressions are, whether I think it's actually worthwhile doing this if you do have an old smartphone laying around or whether it's a complete waste of time. So let's get going. So we'll start off by having a quick look at the hardware here. Literally, this is just a headphone stand that I had laying around, which I've taped to the back of my monitors. So totally crude, totally unprofessional here. And then a old Lenovo smartphone, which I got sent for review probably about three years ago now. I think it was only an $80 phone at the time. So it's a really low low spec uh, entry level phone, but any old Android phone will do for this. And you can see again, that's just sort of taped to the back of the headphone stand there as well. So very crude. But anyway, let's get into the software side of things, show you how this is all set up and then go for a drive. So there's a couple of programs that you're gonna to need to install on your PC as well as one on your smartphone. So jump in, download Space Desk for Windows first of all, just a standard executable file. So run the installer as you would any other program. Make sure you read through the terms and conditions as well before you click that next button. And just run through the wizard, pretty self-explanatory there. Make sure you add the exception for the firewall as well, otherwise it won't work, so install that. And then we wanna go ahead and install OBS Studio as well if you don't already have this. So just search that on Google as well, download the Windows version. So once you've got both programs installed, open up the Space Desk Driver server application on your PC, and then jump back on Google again and type in Space Desk Google Play. And this will allow you to install the APK on your smartphone. So open it up on your smartphone, Click on the three dot menu at the top and tap settings, and then jump into resolution. Make sure you've got use native Android device resolution selected. Go back into the three dot menu again, back into settings, go into quality and performance. Make sure you have this set to 60 frames per second. And then back in once more, three dot menu settings and down to rotation. Just make absolutely sure you've got auto rotation enabled as well. Then tap on the IP address that corresponds with the machine that's running as the server and you should see your desktop now appear as a second screen or third screen, depending on how many screens you've got connected. So jump into OBS Studio now, set up a brand new scene, click on the add button. Now most people will be clicking on game capture here to capture the screen from the sim title itself. I'm gonna be using NDI source here simply because I'm using a second PC, but rename the source to rear vision mirror, something that's gonna be easily identifiable later on. Click OK. And then for me, I'm selecting my NDI source here, but you won't need to do this if you're running the uh, game capture mode. And you should see the game pop up on the screen like so. And then basically all you need to do is just resize and scale until you've got the mirror filling the entire screen. You can choose whether you wanna have the virtual mirror or the actual physical mirror. It's completely up to you. Basically any area of the screen that you wanna have displayed on the smartphone, you can scale. So this is the way I've done it. You can scroll across, you can see here, that would be my uh, physical mirror and then scrolling back again the other way would be the virtual mirror. So once you're completely happy with the positioning, right click on an area just outside the visible window, click on full screen projector, select the external display, and you should see it pop up on your phone. Okay, let's test this out. I remember how to launch this car, I think. Leave it in neutral, rev it up, and then put it in gear when the lights go green, I think it's gonna be the easiest way. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Missed the start a little bit there, but that's okay. So, focus is the mirror. So, it's it's a little bit pixelated, I'm not going to lie. And it's uh, the frame rate is a little low. Probably maybe 20 frames per second if I had to guess. But it doesn't appear to be lagging. What, I, what I'm doing seems to correspond in real time, which is the important thing. But above all, it definitely is adding an extra layer of immersion, I guess you could say. Now it's it's funny because it's not giving me any additional information that I don't already have on the screen. I mean, I've got my overlay up in front of me there, my uh, rear vision mirror as well as my normal rear vision mirror too, which is what I'd normally be relying on. But because it's 
poking out from the screen because it, it's, you know, in a, on a different three-dimensional plane to the rest of the screens. It does actually add something, so... I don't know, let's get around the inside here. Let's see if we can overtake some cars and start making some use of it. Down the inside of this guy, maybe? No, not quite. Still got one on my outside there. So I am able to sort of look up at it and see what's going on around me. And yeah, it's definitely adding something. Like, I, I would not say that it's a complete waste of time. And I kind of, to be completely honest with you guys, I expected it to be just a completely redundant mess that didn't really do anything other than look cool on Instagram and look cool on YouTube. But I feel like I'm a little bit wrong there. I feel like it it's definitely, because of that extra three-dimensional layer, it's kind of worthwhile. Now, would I would I bother setting it up every single time I wanted to drive? Probably not, as I crash into the wall here. Try to not crash into the wall. Maybe <laughs> so just keep it off. Would I set it up every single time? Probably not. I probably It's probably not enough that it would be worth going through all of that every single time. And would I spend money on it? Absolutely not. If it's If I'm making it up of parts that I have laying around the house, then yeah, I think, you know, it's a cool little project. It's, you know, something that'll be entertaining, but I definitely wouldn't be going out and buying a, um, a screen to do this. No, no chance at all. And I, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I'm recommending doing that because it would be not a, wa not a waste of money, but yeah, I think there's other things that you could probably spend that money on that would be a lot better. But yeah, I mean, being able to see what's going on there in real time, it's definitely adding something. So. I definitely wouldn't say it's a complete, it's a complete waste by any means. So yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's not a thumbs up, but it's not a thumbs down. It's probably the best way to sum it up. Let's do a little bit more battling here. Just sort of settle into it a little bit, I think. But I am, like, I've, I'm finding I'm already looking up at it rather than that. Like, I na my eyes naturally want to go there, which is cool. Alright, see if we can catch up with these guys and pass them. Not going to do the full race here, but I just sort of want to settle into it. See whether my opinion changes after a few laps. Send it down the inside here. Got him. So yeah, there's definitely no lag there. It's definitely keeping up with what I'm doing. Which is good. I have no idea what car setup I'm running here. I just realised. <laughs> Probably not the right one. Alright, I'll do one more lap after this one. on the brakes. Oh, I lost the position again. So he's right up me now. Let's see if we can get early on the throttle without spinning. Oh, we've spun it. <laughs> oh, we won't bother doing another lap. I think that's pretty conclusive. It's yeah, my eyes are my eyes are definitely settling on the screen rather than looking up above. So I've, it definitely gives that extra layer, and definitely yeah, it's adding some realism. So in summary, yeah, look, I mean, it's definitely adding something. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say that it's amazing and that you should absolutely rush out and do it. And I definitely wouldn't recommend going and spending a bunch of money on a phone spe specifically for this purpose. I think that would be a complete waste. But if you've got the bits and pieces laying around at home, then uh, yeah, by all means, give it a shot. It's relatively simple to set up and it's definitely a cool little thing. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah.
I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Would I would I set it up every single time that I go driving with triples? Probably not. And it's definitely not a replacement for a VR headset. It's certainly not adding the same level of immersion that you get with a VR headset. So don't be fooled into thinking that. But uh, yeah, given that it works with pretty much any sim, basically whatever you've got displayed on the screen, you can display on this. Uh, obviously, uh, yeah, that's another important thing just to reiterate as well. You can't really use it for side mirrors so effectively because if it's not on the screen, then you can't include it on there. So if you're running a single screen and you're thinking this is a way that you can have a wing mirror down the side or something like that, it's probably not really going to work. Well, in fact, it can't really work because it needs to be on the screen in front of you to be able to be replicated on the second screen. But uh, yeah, look, hopefully you guys have found this entertaining. Hopefully it's given you something that you can muck around with. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's answered a question that comes up quite often in online forums and on Facebook groups and stuff like that. So leave a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subbed and hit the notification bell too so you don't miss future videos. And yeah, if you want to help the channel out, there's some links in the description below where you can do that as well. So thank you very much for your support there. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to struggle to get my words out now. So I'm going to sign off. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.